What up, fight fans? Main man, main man, back at you with another video. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Now, I'm going to try not to hold y'all like a whole hour for this particular subject because I can go on and on about this, man. But you, have, you guys heard the latest and greatest news about Floyd Mayweather. News and leaked out about everyone's making a big deal about him saying that he is better than Oscar. I mean, better than uh, Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson. Now, for many reasons, that can be untrue. That for many reasons, ladies and gentlemen, that can be untrue. A different era, different time. Fighters were different then. They had to fight each other. They had to fight the best. Uh, the promoters didn't have nearly as much power over boxing as they do today. But the key thing I want people to remember is that Floyd Mayweather should feel as though he's greater than Muhammad Ali or Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, I've always admired over the years the answer that Floyd Mayweather has given, the political answer that he's given when asked that question, do you think you're better than Muhammad Ali? And he will always say, well, that's not for me to decide. That's for the fans to decide. And I actually agree with that answer. And that's why I come to the conclusion that Floyd Mayweather should think he is. He's an athlete, ladies and gentlemen. All right? He competes for a living. Okay? This is what he does. And he's damn good at it, by the way. So from an athlete point of view, a, a man who competes for a living, he should think that he is the greatest and the best of all time. TBE, as he calls himself. Why is that such a fucking problem? Manny Pacquiao fans, if Manny Pacquiao, whom has five losses, comes out and says, hey, I'm the greatest of all time. No one, I, no one is better than me. I am better than Ali. I am better than everybody. I'm better than Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, you name it. Why is he wrong in his mind? If this is the thing that gets the dude motivated, why the fuck is he wrong? Now, the fans. Now, if a fan went on a long tyrant about why Floyd Mayweather is greater than Muhammad Ali, then... There should be some motherfucking issues with that. Because a fan, a, a, a true boxing fan who studied the sport and knows everything that Ali has done for the sport, knows everything that May, Mayweather has done in the sport, could not possibly come to that conclusion. Okay? So for all of us tripping about, oh, and Mayweather, what he's saying is blasphemous and what da he also said in the same breath that I never disrespect them and I, they paved the way for me. That, to me, is a bigger compliment. You hear what I'm saying? Records are made to be broken, ladies and gentlemen. And we got to understand it. I know we grew up with our favorite fighters, and we've grown up for you know with our favorite teams and shit, but there always comes to somebody along who's going to think that they're better, or a team that comes along that they're going to think that they're better than what happened before. Same way in the music business. Same shit. Now... From my point of view, is Floyd Mayweather greater than Ali or Sugar Ray Robinson? Fuck no. It's not even in the conversation. For many different reasons, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few, you know. Uh, like Stephen A. Smith said, this was, it was a different time in boxing. Back then, safety for a boxer was, took in, was not a primary concern. The gloves were thinner. The rounds were longer. 15 rounds, you know what I mean? That changed after the 80s, after my man died in the ring, and they, they put it down to 12 rounds. Floyd Mayweather has never fought in a professional fight for 15 rounds, ladies and gentlemen. The caliber of fighter is definitely, definitely, I ain't even talking about just heavyweights. Even amongst the welterweights, these level of fighters that we consider good today, there were a plethora of them back then, ladies and gentlemen. The ones that are not as well known. But even the lower tier fighters then were considered good in a way because they trained so hard and they trained different it, were, it was a gladiator sport, and now today's sport, the more populous message is to hit and not be hit, which is the sport of boxing. But back then, it was gladiator. It was, if you think you're the best on the fucking planet, like Tyson would say, even if a motherfucker wasn't ranked high, if he just said he can beat me, I wanted to, I wanted to get his ass in the ring. That was the attitude of fighters back then. They wanted to be king of the world. In Tyson's words, he wanted to be king of the glad, king, what, king of the warriors. He wanted to be king of the gladiators, you know what I mean? That was the mentality. These fighters nowadays know. We see them dumping titles in trashes. We see them, uh, it's all about the dollar. They, they've let the promoter 
convince them that, you know, you know, you don't want to be this X, Y, Z. You don't want to be a vegetable. You don't want to be this. You want to take it for easy. You want to be smarter, not hard. You don't. You want to work smarter, not harder. They have allowed the promoters to kind of pussy them up a little bit and, 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 and show them that, you know, it's about the money at the end of the day. And that's why these fighters are operating from that standpoint. It's about the money, and I want to take as less punishment as I can. Preferably get in the ring with somebody I can even outsize, be bigger than, you know, uh, have some sort of advantage, bigger ring, whatever the fuck. That's the more so emphasis nowadays. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that Ali has never done that shit. Because everybody knows the infamous stories of what he did to George Foreman leading up to that fight in Zaire. How he had the foot fight pushed back and... Because he had a broken, so he broke, so he hurt it. He injured himself in training, and so did George Foreman. And he he he, he had the fight happen in the morning when Foreman. It was just a lot of trickery going on in those negotiations too. But the way it is today, it's just like God damn, man. But you know, Floyd Mayweather is supposed to say that though, folks. He is supposed to say he's better than X Y Z from an athlete point of view. He should. People actually, his handlers or anyone around him should be more worried if he did not say that he is better than you know people or whatever. But maybe he could have. I think he could have kept it more political. Sure, dressed it up like he's been doing for years. As for the fans to decide, you know. And like I said before, a, a fan, a, a boxing fan in their right mind who knows the sport, who knows these fighters, who knows what they contribute, would not come to that conclusion. Even Stephen A. Smith, the main backer of Mayweather on first take, did, couldn't even back up Mayweather on this shit. But he's supposed to think that, folks. So let's not dump upon him about that shit. I got my criticisms of Floyd, but this is just going, just being just, you know, this is just reaching in my opinion. This is very, this is, this definitely is reaching. He is supposed to say these things. He's been calling himself TBE for how many years now? And now we want to all of a sudden act like it's fucking brand new? Cut the shit. To the next video, it's your main man, Made Man, and I see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget I'm on Twitter at Made Man 511.